Hi, welcome to Daddy Kerb's farm. With my cell phone this time, I'm just going to give you a quick tour around the garden, show you a few of the things that uh, are about to retire because they grew over the winter, and also some of the things that are growing and doing well. Just to give you a little perspective, the winter garden that I did in the last video is over here. The tomatoes are planted in some of these other beds. As I pan across, you can see where the, the potatoes were planted and my greenhouse is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the potatoes. They are doing, they appear to be doing just beautifully. Today I put just a little more soil in there to top them off. And you can see that the, the leaves are nice and green and full and lush. So um, I'm hoping to get a lot of potatoes this year because also along the fence over here, sorry I didn't clean up, I got my hose and buckets everywhere. Before we get to the fence, this is Luke's garden. And Luke's garden has a tomato plant that seeded itself in a bucket from last year. You can see where I planted um, tomatoes in buckets. This one dropped a seed and produced a plant and you can see it has some lovely tomatoes on there already. It has quite a few tomatoes actually. So that's pretty exciting and Luke loves his little garden with his sunflowers and his strawberries. His mustard plant and his lettuce plant that's about to bolt and go to seed. Along the fence you got all these different varieties of potatoes and they appear once again all to be doing just beautifully. The blue potatoes are kind of cool because they have the blue stems. It's easy to tell which ones those are. So walking right down the line you can see all of my potatoes. I put soil in and watered them well today. Here's another tomato that um, dropped seed in a bucket last year. Not sure what variety it is. It has lots of flowers. So I'm hoping this is another one that produces tomatoes early. And there's Harry. Over here in my broken plastic bucket. These little plastic trays, they're actually drawers from those modular units that you put in closets. They don't do well in the sun for more than a season, so they start falling apart and I'll have to throw them away. But all of these here are blackberry starts. I got about 20 of them here. They all came off of that one plant back there in the blue barrel. So they're going to get planted this year. I just don't know where exactly. Probably most of them will end up in the orchard. One last thing on this quick update. I'm going to show you the fodder radish or daikon radish. Most of it's been pulled out. I let some of it go to seed. You can see all of this seed forming here. But what I thought was very fascinating was this monstrous root. Look how big that is. That's, that's a pretty big root there. And that's this one over here. And then this one is not quite as amazing, but it's still pretty large. Both of these plants are going to provide way more than enough seed for my next season of daikon fodder radish. Next time I let some go to seed, it'll probably just be one plant. I could have harvested one of these when it was a little smaller and more edible. With a view of the bees enjoying the flowers on the lemon tree beside my greenhouse, I'll close this video. I appreciate you sharing this time with me. If you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe, that would mean so much to me. Share this video with a friend, and I'll talk to you soon.